What up, my people? This is your main man, Math Moses, and today we're going to break down the quadratic formula. Did you know that the quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a? The quadratic formula is a special formula because it uses only the coefficients of a quadratic. In fact, it uses only the a, b, and c values of a quadratic equation. Here we have a equals 1 b equals 5, and c equals 6. These are the coefficients of the quadratic x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now let's plug in these coefficients, or what we say, numbers, into the quadratic and solve. So we have x equals minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6, all divided by 2 times 1. Now, when we simplify, we get minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 4 times 1 times 6 is 24, and all of that is divided by 2. Now, the square root of 25 minus 24 is 1, so we get minus 5, excuse me, minus 5 plus or minus 1 divided by 2. We're going to get two answers, one for addition and one for subtraction. So minus five plus one divided by two and minus five minus one divided by two. Now when we simplify, we get negative four divided by two, which is negative two, and we get negative five minus one, which is negative six divided by two, which is negative three. Now negative two and negative three are the solutions to the quadratic equation x squared plus five x plus six. But did you know that the solutions also represent the x-intercepts of the quadratic when graphed? So I'm gonna write negative two as negative two comma zero and write negative three as negative three comma zero. And here you have it, my brothers and sisters. This is how you solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula.